Hi everyone, so we're going to continue on with our biogeochemical cycles here and start with our nitrogen cycle. So if we take a look at our nitrogen cycle, it might look very different to what we would expect to see when we have already taken a look at our carbon and our water cycles. Those are definitely going to be the two you're most familiar with, but let's try to break down this one really quick here. So we see a lot of atmos um, atmospheric nitrogen. So what is going to be taking that nitrogen out of the sky can either be nitrogen fixing bacteria, that's gonna bring that nitrogen into the soil and roots in an, a usable form for plants to get and then animals will get in um, by eating those plants. And then we can also see by lightning converting some of that uh, nitrogen into nitrates that organisms can use. And then we can also see that a lot of what we're gonna bring back into the atmosphere here is going to be bacteria in the soil that is going to use that um, bacteria in the soil and water that's going to pretty much take this nitrogen that's in the soil and in the water and process it into a form that will bring it back up into the atmosphere. This seems pretty complicated, but we're going to go through all these different steps here. So the nitrogen cycle is the process by which nitrogen is going to circulate among our air, soil, water, plants, and animals. So just like our carbon cycle, we're going to see it moving through all of these different things as well in an ecosystem. All organisms need nitrogen to build proteins, which is one of our most important building blocks in our bodies and in um, all organisms. And nitrogen actually makes up 70 uh, 78 percent of all the gases in the atmosphere, so it's actually one of the most abundant resources in the atmosphere here. So this would not be considered a limiting chemical here because even this is even more pre present in the atmosphere than oxygen is. So nitrogen must be alerted or fixed before organisms can use it, which is why that bacteria comes into a really important role here. So only a few species of, it, of bacteria can fix atmospheric nitrogen into chemical compounds that can be used by those organisms. So those specific bacterium are gonna take that atmospheric nitrogen and turn it into something else, into a more usable form for our organisms to use. And these are gonna be known as nitrogen fixing bacteria. So these nitrogen fixing bacteria are gonna do exactly that. They're gonna fix the nitrogen so we're able to use it in our daily lives. So it's gonna fix it into the soil or into the water so the plants can take it in in its usable form that we can use. So it can be fixed in three different ways. So lightning strikes, as I mentioned before, those lightning strikes can change that bacteria into different nitrates that we can use in the soils. We can also see nitrogen fixing bacteria, which we just mentioned, and then also man-made fertilizer can bring that nitrogen into our ecosystems as well. So nitrogen fixing bacteria, again, very, very important here because that's the only one of the three ways that we can get nitrogen from the atmosphere. So it's going to convert that nitrogen into ammonia. And these bacteria are going to live in nodes on the roots of plants called legumes. So this includes beans, peas, and clovers. And these are really important because the reason that these bacteria live on those roots is because that's where we're going to need them, right? So to fix that nitrogen in the atmosphere into a usable form for these plants to use here. So they're using sugar provided by the legumes to produce that nitrogen containing compounds like nitrites. Also that excess nitrogen fixed by bacteria is going to be released into the soil. So it's going to be using the legumes to get sugar 
It's also going to be taking a, a nitrogen from the atmosphere and releasing it as nitrates here. And then all the extra, the excess nitrogen that's going to be fixed is going to be released into the soil for other plants to use it to grow. So again, let's take a look here. So we can see our nitrogen in the air, and that's going to come by either the fertilization of crops, man-made, we can see it coming from lightning, or we can see it being fixated by organisms, which is going to be those nitrogen um, fixing bacteria. They're going to get those sugars and they're going to fix that nitrogen into our soils so our plants can use. Our consumers, again, are going to be able to eat those plants and then decompose. And all of that is going to bring, again, bring that nitrogen back into the soil and keep making usable compounds. But again, we're also going to see that certain amounts can actually recycle back into the atmosphere to make that gas again. And the same type of process is going to happen in the water, just like it did for the carbon cycle. We're going to see those carbon fixating bacteria making that ammonia turning that into some sort of other compound until finally we get to those nitrates that are going to be usable for our producers and our consumers to eat. They're going to decompose and again recycling that through their organisms and then eventually we'll see that it comes back around to go back into our atmosphere again. Seems like a very complicated process but remember those three types of ways that we can get nitrogen out of the atmosphere is the nitrogen fixing bacteria, fixation by lightning, and then also fixation by fertilizing crops, that man-made fertilizer. We're also going to see those emissions, again, bringing it into different atmospheric pressures. We're going to see those other bacteria being able to use it and give nitrogen off as well here. If you have, so let's talk about some decomposers with these nitrogen cycles. So nitrogen, of course, once we eat it, is going to be in the bodies of living organisms. Also in the plants as well when they die. So once those animals die, we have to cycle that nitrogen down so that those decomposers are going to come in again and break down these decaying plants and animals as well as their wastes and return that nitrogen into the soil where bacteria can take that and transform that nitrogen into some gas. But also you're going to see it transforming it sort of for the soil. But that's going to be one of the ways that our atmosphere completes our cycle here, is that bacteria, once those decomposers have broken down all of those different organisms that have died or their wastes, we're going to see that it turns into that nitrogen gas, bringing it back into the atmosphere again. Okay, so if we have any questions on this, please reach out, um, and I'll see you next time.